you took the biggest one away when you <laughs> talked about the funding, because that's what all law enforcement is talking about right now. Um, I would say, uh, like any law enforcement agency, I've talked a lot about efficiency here. We have uh, people doing much more with less, and, and I'm so proud of the men and women of the Orange County Sheriff's Department because they go out there and they make it happen every day, and I'm told by the public, gee, you know, we haven't felt any pain of these cuts, and that was the whole goal. Uh, but I would say that uh, given the, uh, from my perspective, and my background is in Homeland Security, uh, and with respect to what happened in New York, I think that is, continues to be a tremendous challenge for law enforcement to deal with. And my fear is constantly when budgets get tight, we start to think about, gee, do we need to continue to pay for something like Homeland Security and being proactive at that? Uh, and so that is my fear. The other issue for me are drugs and gangs. Um, you know, we cannot, we gotta get our head out of the sand. We have a problem with drugs and gangs in this county. Certainly not at the same level that we do in Los Angeles in terms of the gang problem, but we have the opportunity here to make a difference and prevent it from spreading. Our children, you know, I'm part of the drug use is life abuse program that Brad Gates began. We're still very engaged in that. And to hear from the high school students the, the drugs that they're exposed to, the, the availability of that. I mean, I think the sheriff's job is to do some interve intervention, um, interdiction programs on that, continue to go after the people that are selling those drugs, the major dealers, um, and to go after the people that are recruiting kids in gangs, but look for, at some other alternatives. It costs you 80 to $100 a day to keep somebody in jail. We've got to look at a better way to do it that doesn't cost the taxpayers much money. The biggest problem besides finances in the Orange County Sheriff's Department is and has been leadership, without a question. Again, there is a proven formula for success with the Sheriff's Department. We had two sheriffs that spanned 40 plus years. And you know what they had in common? They came up through the ranks of the Orange County Sheriff's Department. They were committed to this community, that department. They worked from the ground up. They had the support of the men and women in the agency. They were true leaders who could go out and inspire and motivate. We were a, pro a professional organization that people looked up to rather than a laughing stock. And that's the problem, folks. We, talk, we heard the appointed sheriff just now talk about gangs and drugs. I ran the gang unit for the South, for, uh, in South Orange County for the Sheriff's Department. They have half the staff in there now than, I, than they did when I was running the organization. Now, how are we going to stay on top of gang members then? And let's look at this panoramically. Where do you think a lot of our gang members and drug dealers are coming from? They're coming up from Mexico through our poorest border. And you know what they're doing now? They're coming up right on our shores in boats, in skiffs. That's how they're getting in. This stuff's all tied together. You can't isolate and say one's not uh, because I don't, because I'm uncomfortable dealing with this issue, uh, I'm not gonna deal with it. That's how we get here. We need a sheriff who's got a broad panoramic perspective, who has gone out before the people and made his case to the people and has support so he can use that office as a bully pulpit to bring in good policy that's in the best interest of public safety and that has the leadership credibility with the men and women of the department, because that is a huge responsibility. I walk into any position in that jail, I go sit in a patrol car, or sit next to an investigator in that department, or stand in a line with the SWAT team when they're going in the front door to raid a drug dealer's house. Guess what? I have street cred with those folks, because they know I've done it, and they know I've done it right. That's what we need in the Orange County Sheriff's Department. I think uh, one of the biggest differences that I'd like to point out is that uh, Look, this is not the time to hang on to the edge of the cliff and wait for the money to come back and think that we're going to build our organizations back, you know, the way that, that we have been running them the last, you know, infinity of, of law enforcement. We have to continue to change and we need to know what's happening in the county. You know, gang crime is down 80 percent. You know, uh, crime overall, we're at the 1960s level. Crime is not the, the big issue. I mean, we're always going to have crime. The big issue is obviously the budget but not so much the budget, but how are we going to change? This is the greatest opportunity in my career that I have seen to fundamentally change the way we do law enforcement in America. And that's going to take tough choices. And what we need to do is invest in technology and invest in our communities so that it isn't the police out there handling everything. This one-time money in technology, as I said, putting cops on dots. Where is the crime occurring? What are the crime trends? This is not happening in the sheriff's department, you know, to the extent that it, that it could be. Does the community know what's going on? What can they do to protect themselves? Because it's free when they do it, if they put up a light or paint out some graffiti or clean up their yard. Uh, 
That is the change of philosophy. That's the fundamental difference between LA County philosophy and Orange County philosophy. Orange County philosophy is we're here to, to protect and uphold and support our community as opposed to being the Lone Ranger who rides into town, fixes the problem, and then leaves, and the community has no idea what the sheriff did or how to stop it from happening again. That has to change. It's a more efficient, more effective, uh, friendlier way of doing law enforcement, and in the end, it protects the taxpayer dollar. That's what has to change. We are never going to be back where we were two years from now. It's going to be different, and we need to be able to adjust to that.